What's going on guys? What's up? This is X-Tigers. How are you guys doing? So I'm bringing guys our Black Ops video commentary, but for this video, I'm going to give you guys like a throw on my combat record, my stats, because I did a stats a while back ago when I first got to Master Prestige, but it's been a couple months after, and I have risen my stats a lot, especially my KD. My KD is a lot better, a lot better than it was, um, so I hope you guys enjoy this quick stats video. And some of you guys want to see my stats and like what guns I use, what maps I play and stuff like that. So, so here we go. I'm going to start off. Go to my barracks. Go to my combat record. So as you can see right here, I am Prestige Master. I have 56,804 kills, 1,016 wins. And I, right now I have a 2.95 KD ratio. I'm trying to go for that 3.0 or that plain 3 even KD. KDR soon I'm so close uh, about five more to I need to get to that so I'm edging that on and I'm going to try to get there now I will get there but sorry I don't know when it's going to happen but I'm trying to so hard so it's going to get into my career um, I have nine days 13 hours 24 minutes and 19 seconds I know I have a huge amount of time played on com on black ops 2 and it, it's basically too much time. Um, I play this game way too much, and I think that's why this game isn't as fun as what as it used to be. And it's it's like kind of the downfall that I have had since playing the game so much. Nine days—that's a long time. That's almost a week, and like a week and three days extra of playing Call of Duty straight without doing anything else. That's a long time. And yeah, so. Uh, my win-loss ratio is not that great. It's a 0.70 win-loss ratio. I usually play solo, and so I like usually join in matches that I'm pretty much getting raped or stomped, and my team's losing, or I join a match with Swarm and Low Star and Dogs up, and I don't like ruin my uh, KDR because I'm trying to get a 3.0, so I have a lot of uh, losses, and it could be better, but um, it's it's okay. Well, I think it is, and I have a 448 score per minute and my score right there uh was it six million one hundred and sixty six hundred two oh wait no it's six million one hundred one hundred thousand and sixty six two hundred and fifty score playing totally black ops and that's a huge amount of score so oh sorry let me go to my uh, combat record so I got a bunch of headshots Bunch of unstoppable medals and ultra killer, and as you see, my unstoppable medals. I pretty much got nuclear, and then every additional kill after nuclear, you get this sign. So unstoppable medal, I got 152. That's pretty much a lot. And basically, so my deadliest weapon is the PDW. I got basically almost um, 10,000 kills of that. I got the MSMC second as my second, and I got the MP7. M MSMC, I have 6,535 kills, MB7, 3,997 kills, and right here, this is my most favorite score streak, the low star. It's my daily score streak. I have 2,544 kills with that. It's my favorite score streak in the game, hands down, no matter what you guys say. And um, so the basic game types I play is Domination, which is basically like Ground War 99, and then Kill Confirm, Tedium, all in the Ground War playlist. Basically play Ivy Line. Then I get into a little bit of free fall and search and destroy, but I'm not really too big on the free fall and search and destroy in Black Ops 2. I kind of liked it and favored it more in the MW3 and in the first Black Ops. And those are my two game types, but in Black Ops 2, those are not my game types because there's so much bull in those kind of game types. It's kind of hard to play. And yeah, so pretty much got like almost all the achievements for, except for search destroy, all the analogs and player card things and lock for those kind of play types and right here now this is the my stats right here basically on the game again a stop all medals 152 I have 27 nuclears but look at this my brutal my brutal medals I have 57 brutal medals that means I died like somewhere between five to zero five to one kills off the nuclear medal and that's a lot 57 basically failed nuclear streaks that's a huge amount of nuclear streaks I failed off then I have like a bunch of relentless and that's like close to 10 off and or 10 to uh, 15 off that's huge that's huge to imagine if I would have got pretty much clutch on all of these and all this 
I pretty, pretty much will already have almost over 200 nuclear metals, and that is crazy amount of nuclear metals. Just 57 is a lot, but that's pretty much extremely a lot. So, um, here's like basically my headshot, my KD ratio with some of my weapons, my accuracy. Basically, basically like a 20% accuracy with the PW, MMC, 20% accuracy, 20% accuracy with MP7, um, about a 20% accuracy with A94, M8, 26% accuracy, Vector, 22% accuracy, Scorpion Evo, 24% accuracy, um, MTAR, 22, 20, 25, and 23, and pre you pretty much get this, and also 71% with the shotgun, and then DSR, 53, not too big on sniping, and that's pre pretty much it for all that and stuff, so I'm just going to scroll the rest of them, and yeah, so those are pretty much all the weapons I use, and now the equipment. It says I really have the C4 equipment used 2,060 times. I have 60, 659 kills with it. Um, I kind of I really like the C4, but um, this is like a recent bug where you can like throw a C4. It's pretty much a dead C4. It doesn't explode, or if it does explode, it doesn't do anything. It's pretty much pointless. So I really don't really run it a lot anymore. It's kind of strange to run like at least five perks now. And I don't really use it because I'm, uh, I'm not really into throwing C4 because sometimes it doesn't even work for me. And I don't really get a lot of multi feeds with C4s like some of the other YouTubers do. It's just insane. They have a shock charge, concussion, bouncing Betty's, grenades, Semtex, TAC, smoke, and EMP and center grenades and stuff like that. Um, so my base, my most used is C4, and that's the only where I really use it when I do use it. And now it gets it down to the score streaks. Now. My most used score streak is the UAV because I use this so much, especially going for nuclear metals. I run like uh, UAV, counter UAV, uh, VSAT or UAV, um, uh, was it uh, VSAT and EMP, and those are, like my most recommended things to use in my scores because these things work out so much because you got a UAV up, they're on the radar, over the VSAT, they're on the radar all times to phase away. The counter UAV, they can't see their radar, so you can have unsilenced weapon off the radar. That's Majorly helpless, and then the lightning strike, hunter drone, low star, K9 swarm. So basically, my highest score streak I use, low star 245 times. I have over 2,000 kills with that. K9 212 times, over 1,000 kills with that. Swarm 200, 211 times, over about 2,000 kills with that. Stove chopper about 460. I don't really use that that much. Um, got a bunch of assists with that. Use 104 times. Esther drone don't use that. Don't really use the Warhog, don't even use Hellstorm or any other these uh, these are score streaks. The Vito I really don't like. It's pretty much decent, but um, I kind of really don't like it to my best ability. And yeah, so basically that's my stats right now. And actually, I got like a bunch of friends on my friend list playing a bunch of subscribers on Spring Break. And yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed like this quick throwdown on my stats. And if you guys enjoyed this commentary, please give the video a thumbs rating. And favorite video, really enjoyed it. Subscribe now already. And this is Zach Tigers, and I enjoy talking with you guys. And I'll see you guys next time on the next video. See you guys.